Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 21st of June. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be delighted if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. And if you'd like to soar above zodiac sign astrology and embrace your deeper personal uh, future prospects, please check out my special offer below. It's 30% off for a year's forecast and a character analysis combination, totally based on your unique birth data. Hello Virgo and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 21st of June. The week begins with the summer solstice and the sun climbing its way into the most idealistic part of your situation. This is brilliant for friendships, for networking and for planning your future moves. You already have Venus in this location, which is lovely. So getting together with friends may be a big part of your desires this week. Your ruler Mercury has obviously been in retrograde and therefore anything to do with your work or your role in life may have been part of your focus, even if it's felt rather stuck. The great news is on Tuesday, Mercury goes direct. By the end of the week, it comes out of shadow. So there can be greater clarification around those worldly involvements. But yes, being a little bit more sociable can really appeal to you. And there can be one person that's really catching your imagination this week. Jupiter may have gone into a retrograde last week, but it forges a glorious alliance with the sun this week. And this person just seems to cheer you up. You can bring out the best in each other. So some kind of partnership, and it could be linked to a travel plan, a joint interest or a philosophy, can really be an uplifting theme of this week. But with Venus in opposition to Pluto, is it the case that you may be finding yourself attracted to someone who's a friend. At this stage, it may just be an improvement or a, a, a deepening of the bond between you. But is there the potential for something more? There could be some food for thought around that type of thing this week. The uh, full moon, which occurs on Thursday, does ask you, however, to marshal your time and your affections in the best way possible in the following two weeks. It's, it, it is entirely uh, the case that maybe uh, everyone wants a piece of you. You know, you're uh, going to be the person who's in vogue over this next fortnight. And of course, we can't please all of the people all of the time. Maybe a new friendship that you're developing is something that a partner won't like. Or is it the case that you're so embedded in a close, intimate relationship, your friends can't remember the last time they saw you? So either of those polarities is possible on the back of this particular full moon. On Friday, however, Neptune does go into a retrograde in your sector of relating. So that means both Neptune and Jupiter are retrograding around key relationships. So that suggests that there could be some rethinking in that area over the months to come. And on Sunday, with Venus making its way into your 12th house, if there is a weak point around any close alliance, it could be exposed over the following 28 days, particularly through the first three weeks of July, because Venus and Mars are going to be very close together. And if there's a secret fascination you have with somebody new, it might be hard to resist. Or is a weakness in a current tie going to become much more difficult to channel and manage?